anti-Afro Spengalis. This is indeed a big announcement. Seriously, people, get ready. This is video number 1,000. Don't tell me that's not a big announcement. It is a great announcement because Umar Johnson continues to try to flag videos down on this channel. And I know he's also trying to flag videos on other channels and he has failed with his effort. And this is a huge thank you to all of you out there who have stood by this channel, believed in the goal, pushed forward, spoke the truth, and you refused to be intimidated by Umar Johnson's bullying and escalating criminal behavior. We have to stand strong in the face of criminals because look at the outcome of not standing strong in the face of criminals. Look at the condition of our community because we have far too many people like Umar Johnson running around and they become complacent. They think they're gonna be able to continue their criminal behavior. And anybody that stands in their way, out come the threats, out come the effort to shut people up, out come the bullying tactics and trying to pretend that you have some power over willing people to go after others who dare to speak the truth. We saw what Umar was doing. Did it work, people? You can answer the question any way you like. It sure as hell didn't work with me. It certainly hasn't worked with anyone that I know. There could be people out there who were intimidated into not recording Umar of the scam back perping with abandoned bomb shelter videos. You could have been a person who was going to record a video like that and you decided not to. That's okay because there have been a lot more people who have been willing to record these videos and that's what counts. The other thing that counts is that I'm not at all considering, nor have I ever considered erasing the videos or the channel. So when people ask, oh my gosh, I can't believe you have all these videos. Well, believe it because you see the videos. So how can that be a surprise to you? If I had any shame connected with the thousand videos on this channel, why the hell would I have recorded them and kept them up? They're not on private or anything like that. The only person trying to get these videos taken down is Umar. So why don't you talk to Umar about his sense of shame and embarrassment? Because I certainly don't harbor any such feeling of the kind. And I have absolutely no loyalty to any person who is a violence monger, who is an abuser, who is a persecutor of souls, and who is a thief. I don't give a damn if the person is also black, that is not gonna dissuade me in any way when it comes to handling business with respect to someone like Umar. And Umar just happens to think he can traipse through the profession that I represent, perpetrate, and try to gain money. Well, you have to really think about the perspective of whether or not Umar has really gained money. How in the hell is he homeless if he prospered and benefited from this? What is the benefit if he just simply hijacked money and did God knows what else with it? Because we know several things Umar has done with the money. So why the hell would we be jealous of someone who is recording videos out of junkyard cars in a yellow baby bonnet? <laughs> I've never, ever in my life have seen a grown man acting and looking like this. <laughs> Actually, let me correct myself. Don't get me to tell a lie. I have seen people like this, but they're typically not out walking around with 
liberties for very obvious reasons. <laughs> but I just can't believe this. You want us to take this full seriously. Who is, and this is not knocking people who are homeless. He's just straight up trifling. That's why he ended up in the situation that he's in. Occasional infusion of some chump change that gets him up in a roach motel for a couple of nights isn't convincing. And as you may have noticed, who is it posted the most recent? There's a video. I think it was Lennon that posted it. You should see Umar in this very tight space, only showing a corner of his little fake trinkets, his knockoff trinkets that he claims are from the continent of Africa. You can tell he's trying hard to not show where he is because we know it's nefarious people. He just carries around these fake trinkets to hang them up, these knockoff trinkets, claiming that they're from countries on the continent of Africa. And all it is, is Umar trying to give his perception that he's something that he isn't. And what happened the last time he did that? <laughs> you know what happened the last time. <laughs> Y'all need to what happened. Wait, what is this? What's going on? Please don't tell me this man went live with the wrong side of the camera on and that's what was showing, man. Oh, man. So people, hopefully you have learned enough now not to allow the scam bagger to fool you because it really doesn't take that much effort to figure out Umar is nothing but a mega scam bagging leech with the IRS on his ass. And we know even before this situation, he owes close to $200,000 in federal tax liens. So he's already on the IRS radar. And if he's dumb enough, to put himself in front of a bullseye target. He's dumb enough to put himself in front of a bullseye target. The issue is Umar's used to thinking that nobody in the black community will stand up and address all of the lies and thievery and bullshit that he has been engaging in. He cannot handle the fact that people are front and center pointing out all of these atrocities and demanding something be done. There's nothing that Umar can say or do. There's nothing he can tell any agency. He can't tell the Internal Revenue Service, no, don't send my documents. How and why would the Internal Revenue Service listen to a scam bagger like Umar? No, we're gonna get the information that we request and you can best believe that information will be shared right here on this channel. And if any of you out there get the information before I do, I encourage you to share it. I can't require, I can't demand, but I welcome you to share the information so we can get it out there and hopefully more people will be encouraged to follow suit and call attention to this abomination. This is outrageous. Make a change, posted a reminder video that the damn roof is caved in. And where is this money going? It's not going anywhere to upkeep the property. There is junk everywhere. And check out Make a Change's video because Umar got fined for all of this garbage. He got fined for their graffiti. So they are fining him. The fines are racking up because he obviously doesn't give a damn about Hazmat Central. He doesn't care. There is only one objective that Umar has is to separate you from your money. Once that happens, you will not hear from him again because he's already used you up and got your money. But like I stated, 
those who want to come along, make sure the truth is exposed. Welcome. Keep coming back for more because I guarantee you there will be a lot more. In the meantime, it's important that you stay strong and ward off all the scam baggers. Your armor of protection is fire. Beware.